Dockets to Political Dead Dockets, July the 31st, 2009. This one goes out to This Ain't No Recession. Hey kid, it's good to see you back on the waves. Your site is growing like crazy and you haven't even got a video on it. <laughs> Never seen nothing like it in my life. And uh, I can imagine what you're going to be like in one year's time. Listen, as you very well know, $24 billion. Let's do the math on that one for a second. In seven months, the private Federal Reserve, which is a private organization, and uh, I'm just saying that for anybody else who happens to be listening to the video, has printed 24 trillion. There's a thousand billion in trillion, so that's 24,000 billion. Now, what that means is that that's 24,000 pallet loads of money, 500 pound pallet loads of money. Now, a transport truck might take 40 of these, so you can imagine what 24,000, how many transport trucks of printed money would take. Okay, right off the bat, that should drive you right over the deep edge uh, with how rogue our government actually is. And, and uh, one of the videos you had taken down quite a while ago um, actually says that term, I do believe. We have a rogue government beyond imagination. So they created the depression, the recession, by overprint money, devaluing the money. Then they come and buy up all the natural resources. And we know they do this country after country. And every 10 years or so, they'll come back to a country and devalue the money, come and buy up all the natural resources, break up the unions, and break the middle class. And um, now the, they're actually going after the richer people. So I just wanted to do a shout out, and I hope that uh, you're happy in your new home. I know you moved and we haven't seen you for a while. So really looking forward to your videos, kids. You always make great points. And, I mean, you know, that's all you can do. You can take the information that's available at the time and get that information out. So, we're excited to see you back. And best wishes to your loved ones. This is the Political Dead.